We have friends who are connected on consoles, however these plugins can fix your issues and allow them to play on your Java server at no extra cost. It's this plugin called Geyser. I just disappeared, but this plugin called Geyser will allow your friends on a Nintendo Switch or a console to literally go on your Java server. Now let's get into it. The first thing that you need to do is change from a Java 8 towards Java 11. This will be linked in the description down below. The JVM just needs to be a hotspot. You can let it be open J9 if you want to. However, they're both just Java. So go ahead and download Java 11, install it on your computer. If your server is running on MC Pro Hosting, just go ahead and ask them or something similar to that. If you can go ahead and update to Java 11 on your server, basically. So after we have this, if you don't know, this is also on a Screaming Bed Wars um, article. It will have Java 11 through Oracle and Java 11 JDK. It, this one was recommended by their team. But right here, if you go to the website, Geyser MC revolutionize your Minecraft server enabled clients from Minecraft Bedrock Edition to join your Minecraft Java server. Now, does this work with PlayStation? No, it does not work with PlayStation because they still don't have the server feature, probably because of the PlayStation Microsoft issue. Yeah. So with that, right here at the top, just click on download. After you click on download, you will be seeing all of these things pop up. You're going to see bungee cord. If you have bungee cord, spigot, sponge, uh, geyser with the jar itself, geyser dash velocity. I have spigot paper, so I usually get that one. However, if you just want to run it on a single player server, you could, but I don't know how well that would go. That will just be the geyser dot jar. However, if you do have is your own server host, you have is something like MC Pro hosting or a Minecraft hosting server, then just go ahead and ask their support if you can if you can basically upgrade towards Java 11 and then add in by searching in the plugin, which is gonna be Geyser. After that, then you would need also is the floodgate. The floodgate will basically allow the Minecraft player that's on Bedrock to be on a proxy that's gonna translate towards Java. Now, it will be laggy. It's not perfect, okay? Don't just say, it's not working, it's so laggy. It's supposed to be laggy. It's because it's on a server proxy. If the server proxy was not there, then everything would just fail in the server codec. With the server codec, let's go ahead and go back onto is geysermc.org. Once you have it all set up, let's go ahead and go through the config editor. We're going to go through the default. This is one way that you could do it. Now your IP address will be your server IP address, but it's also set as 00. I have mine set as 0.0.0.0, .0 which is right exactly there. The port, it could be 191.32. I think that's good enough. However, if uh, if it's on Java, it will have to be 25565. I did that wrong. It will have to be 25565. Clone remote port is just for the hosting th server things, blah, blah, blah. Or change your Java port every time. Oh, yeah. You don't need this. However, your port needs to be 25565. But if it's still a Bedrock server, um, I don't really know what's going on. So this is MOTD1. This will be showing near their home screen. So right, right here, it says Geyser. But I can let that say SRG100. Or SRG uh, city. Now there's MOTD2. Uh, MOTD2 will basically show up on Minecraft Bedrock right next towards the right side. So they have a different feature thing when you go into escape mode. So right here you can just put welcome to Shadow Royale Gaming. Or like SRG or like Bed Wars or like... What my friend keeps on saying, poggers, pog, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what's going on with that. But that's what's going on there. The server name will be your server name. And you do need your proxy protocol. However, you don't really want this if you run on UDP. However, there is the proxy. Even though that there's this thing, you don't have to actually enable it. You can turn it off if you want. Right under we have is the remote. The address, guys, will attempt to find the best address that it can. 
This is just gonna be if you are doing it on auto or like some other thing. So actually, I think this is supposed to be 19132 half. However, that still is 25565 five, right there. So as we continue to scroll down, password authentication methods to Geyser. So it says on offline, online. That's mainly for if they have a, a Java account. So go ahead and click on Floodgate and it should. Okay, I don't know if it's doing it. Floodgate, which will be showing right here, your Floodgate key file. You can ignore this when you're not using Floodgate. However, you do need Floodgate public dash key dot pen. So do not, I'm not going to be showing this, but. Don't show your public key because that's made for your specific server for your own proxy. Command suggestions are just if the Bedrock clients can see it, which is basically Bedrock. Pass through MOTD, which will show the ping pass through. A protocol name, player accounts. I have this turned on because I run a, a friend only server. There's a legacy ping and then all of these other options right down here. I usually keep my max player is set to like 20 or 50 because a little bit too much on Bedrock will crash the server because again, it's going through the proxies. So there's a cooldown, fake cooldown. Bedrock players will not see this when using 1.8, blah, 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 all of that. You can just go ahead and check that out and fill that out. That is Geyser. And if you're still having issues, there is an article made by Geyser right here. That will show you the entire setup still. And again, I am busy. I'm Regan from Regan V Films Tech on Shadow Royale Gaming. Keep on going with your codec on your server. And you can allow your friends to join your Minecraft server. Now, Shaka and Mahalo. I'll see you on the next adventure.